business there's no business I know Come and see our show of bodies What is what are all about? Right That's nothing to do with what we're doing <laughs> The discovery too just going through the MOT on it, making sure that it's going to pass and we've seen that the ball joints on the hub here on the pivot there pass there like that are all perished and there, that one ain't too bad this side ain't too bad it's still, it's still got perished, I'm still perished over there this side's worth that's completely missing off that one look so we're going to take these off and we're going to show you what we're doing. So please like and subscribe and help us build the channel. We're at 933 subscribers. We're trying to get to a thousand. See if it's worth carrying on. Um, but we'll get all this apart and we'll show you what we're doing. And uh, hopefully it'll help you. Right. Off we go. So the first thing we've got to do is take the caliper from the caliper carrier. Um, so that is a, what, what's that, 13? 12. It's a 12. So we'll take this off first. Crazy. Oh yeah. So then come in, and then you can take the caliper carrier off, and that's what you would do if you were changing the pads. So then are nice and easy to get off. Has this been off yet? Before we tell this is the first one that's come off, eh? Uh, yeah. Pull that off then. Do you need a little pry bar? It's coming. It's stuck there in that one, eh? That's off. So you can just rest that on the steering bar there. Or over there. Yeah, anywhere you want. Just when you put it back on, make sure you don't twist the, um, the pipe. Because that can also be an advisory MRT. And the pads can come out. Ooh, see that one. Them look new, look. It's a little bit of a lip off the disc, but these discs and pads are pretty new, I think. Yeah, now. Because Oh, they say, they say got the new hub, look, the other side's got a new hub on it, this side hasn't. So now you need a 12 point socket on the back of here to get the, um, the caliper carrier off, which is this one here and that one up there. You have to get this out of the way, this is to the ABS sensor. Um, we don't like taking hubs and ABS sensors off because it can cause you serious problems with your three amigos. The best thing to do, if you can, is unhook it here and, and up there and unhook it inside the car and pull it through rather than unscrewing it out your hub because that can cause us issues going down we've had that before yeah a good thing to check on these as well is when we've, you've got it all stripped down like that is that boot make sure it's got no splits in it anywhere yeah all you do is get it to an open position like that and then spin the, the axle round and you'll see it sort of open but generally it'll be covered in grease anyway because right? it just yeah. squares it out of the hole so next is them two um which i believe are a 19 mil um 12 point socket so we'll get that uh, so i think these are a 19 yes they are them a 12 point socket tap that on there and this will get the carrier off. We need to get this carrier off to get the disc off, obviously. And this is going to be tight. And it is. Oh. It's got it moving. And this one is behind. And as you can see, that is just zooming a little bit. Behind this here, look, that just pops out of its older. Right there. And you can just bend that up because it's quite bendy. And then this one. That one. 
and this one, the top one, holds this bracket. What do you hold that bracket? It holds a bracket of some description. That holds the ABS sensor. Can that say stuff? One. Has that been off before? No. This is the first time this is coming apart. It's the one that's been apart before, so you're seeing this how difficult it would be straight off the bat where there is. If we was doing it. My car we just bought, which we are, so I'm talking in my butt. Okay, next thing. Um, we've got the big hub nut in the centre of there, and we've also got the little screw that holds the. I'm going the right way. That's see that, that spun then. These are brilliant. The impact drivers to get these out, then brilliant. Rather than trying to get a screwdriver in there and get it moving, you just whack that with an hammer, and straight away it comes loose. So once that's off. We can get the disc off. We haven't had this off, so it might need a bit of a hit with the armor. But obviously, we don't want to do anything to the disc. So we just hit, hit it round here. Claw hammer for the win. Do it now. It's going to be nothing to go for. Might need a lump armor. Time for the lump on that. The oldest thing here is generally getting the hub away from the axle itself. And it's using the, the bolts down the back of there. You've got one, two, and two on the other side. And the issue is getting it to, to break free from the, the axle or the, the hub carrier. Um, so we'll show you how we do that in a sec. It might be worth getting the um, that plastic dead blow. I mean, it's hanging up in there just to whack it off. It's coming loose. <laughs> Fit it with this then. This is just a plastic hammer, so it shouldn't cause any problem. That's it then. Oh, that's the lead hat off. So the next thing to do is to get the hub nut out of there. What size is that? It is. 32. 32. Now normally you'd get this little, um, that little bit there is normally knocked in to stop it coming undone. Somebody has attempted it but not very well. Normally you'd have to knock that out with a chisel but if you're using an impact gun, it'll just come undone. He says before we do it. So you would struggle to get that one done if you were using the impact gun. The best way to do it if you're not using the impact gun is leave the wheel on and before you start doing anything, take the centre cap out of the wheel, get um, a breaker bar on that, then you can stand on the breaker bar and the wheel's still on so it's not going to go anywhere. Uh, so, next thing to do is um, we need to get the... We don't need to take the hub off. Talking to my crap out there. We can leave, we can leave this the hub on onto the hub carrier because it's these we're replacing here so we can leave that on there 
We've still got to take that off. We need to take that off because that's got to come out that way. We've got to break this joint here. Um, and it's just that one there, eh? Yeah. We break that one there. And then, right, we decided a different plan. I'm definitely going to break the hook because we just want to get this um, half shaft out of the way. So this CV boot is out of the way for when we're sort of undoing everything. We don't want to damage it. So we're going to undo these four at the back here. One, two, and then there's two on the other side. And then we'll hit them as hard as we can with a chisel or something, trying not to do any damage to that. And that should break this right. seal here. I need to shift that because it's getting in the way somewhere. That nut there. It's just spinning because the ball joint is spinning. So we need to put some pressure on this to hold the ball joint into the taper and then we can get the nut off. But that's what's causing us issues at the moment. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put something in, so in there, put a bit of pressure on it and hopefully it'll hold that down enough to come out. Yeah. Try it like that. If I put a bit of pressure there, it might hold, hold it in the taper. It's nearly off. There we go. So just putting a bit of pressure onto the steering arm there, pushes the ball joint into the taper, and then that allows it to come undone. So now, we're going to break that from its taper. Um, let's try hitting this with a... So that's out. Unfortunately, we... Oh, it's all right. I thought he was going to hit that right this arm there, because we've got it up in the air. So that's out of the way. Next job is to undo the four they're holding the hub on, and try and break that free as well. So these are them. Um, 15's on there. Scratch the 16, it's a 15. There we go. So we'll just go around undoing all of these. Just four of them, 15's at the back. And then we'll tap it off. starting to um, get a crack come in there let me just get this camera so you can see just along there it's starting to crack so if we go for the bottom one now can you see it no put it where you want it i'll hold it so i'm gonna hit that bottom one down there is that the right one Somewhere on the right that's the one isn't it? yeah that's it should see this start to break away. You can see they're starting to come away. And then we'll turn it around, hit the ones on the other side, and we'll continue to do that until it's come out. Yeah, yeah, there's a gap coming down here. I think you'll have to go around the other side now, though. Move that all that. Look at that bottom one there, he's going to look. You can see it's starting to come away there. Go for the top one there, Dad. That one's doing well, it's up here, look. Oh, I can't get that one, I don't think. It's the hardest one, this one's the hardest one to get to. It, it won't take much, I don't think. Yeah, it's going. Go on. Go back to the bottom one, then if that one's already, it'll start going all the way around there. Yeah, 
yeah. Starting to break away. Look at the other side. Yeah. Let's see this. Where's the good idea? This one's bottomed out. Yeah. This top one could do with just screwing out a little bit as well. What was he? 15. Maybe. This one. Oh, yes. If we've got a good break there now, this will come out now. If you, if you take the top one out as well, this will fly out. Yeah, the other same out, I think. <laughs> Dark and red. It's coming out on an angle now, so I'll do this top one, it should pop. Take it out a bit more, it's nearly out now. That's popping out now, that one is. Take that top one out a little bit more and it'll be out. Over this side? Yeah. It's just this top one that's popping out, all the rest are nowhere near. This, this one here. It's the one you was eating, that one's popping out now. The rest of them, I. This one, bottom Yeah, in. top one, yeah. <laughs> top one, bottom in. Let's see. Do you feel it might come off? Let me just give it a pull. Let me put this camera in here and pull it. I think it'll come off. There you are. It's close though. It's very, very close. Oh, no. Which one are you doing, the top one? This bottom, and this one's bottom down. Isn't it? Yeah. You know what? Where's the. Are we going to leverage? Oh, yeah, it's going to come on. Yeah, take them all the way out and we'll put the lid behind and it'll come out now. All we need is one of them now. Throw that on the floor. One. Yeah, that's going to be Shall we um, drop it down and undo the ABS sensor from under the bonnet so we are going to take it out of the oven or shall we take it out of the oven? Um, what do you reckon? We'll take it out of the oven. Eh? The more I out the oven, it's when we... You just don't want to crack the oven, Nick? We had... Um, yeah. We, we, we changed them and that day out. So it's just an Allen key down in that section there. Up, you need to put the sensor on the up that comes with the up course then calibrate it together isn't it? Yeah. Undo that. 
if there's any spaces or anything with the when you pull this out to make sure you keep on pulling back in. You need to put something. You need to put something. You need to put something. You the last one and this hook should come off um, the aftershaft might be stuck in it so we'll just pull it all out together you just got to be careful not to damage the CV boot it's in pulling it out we'll make sure this goes through there and then pull it off the end <laughs> oh no it's popped straight off so that's come off there We'll pull that half shaft out, get it through the hole without damaging it, and then it's on to the next spot. So I'll just straighten your hub up like that, and it just pulls straight out. Let's put that back in there. Like that. Da -da. And you can inspect all your. It's gone off. Splines. You, you can inspect all your splines and stuff like that to make sure that everything's okay. And if you're taking this off, you can inspect your CV boot. Make sure that's all good, which it is. Now to the hard part. We've got a break. That one there and the one underneath. So we've got two big nuts on there that have got to come off. And then we can start on trying to break it. So just knocking the socket onto that nut there for the top ball joint. I'm going to try and break this off. I don't know how tight it's going to be. It's this way, isn't it? Yep. Oh, not so bad. That ain't too tight. Hopefully the ball joint ain't going to spin and it's going to come, come out like it should. It is advisable, which we are done, to clean the threads. Is it turning? I don't know. Rubber right turning anyway. Clean the threads and spray with a bit of lubrication before you start on doing it, because you don't want to get stuck on the bottom of the thread. But we'll take that one off, and then we'll do the bottom one. What's the thing? I don't know. Enough to ask uh, Fred Vincent. So problems that nut is stuck on there the ball joint is spinning in the taper there is a six mil allen key hole in the bottom of the nut on the, and you've got a 22 mil nut so we're going to heat this nut up as hot as we can get it we're going to put the allen key in the bottom we're going to put the 22 mil on it and we're going to try and undo it this should hopefully, hopefully melt the um, no lock um, stuff that's in the nut to, to make it lock on there and we'll have to do the same with the bottom if this works we did try putting some weight on the axle um, or some, some weight on the um, hub carrier itself to try and push it up the tape out and hold it in place but that isn't working so we'll get this soft as we possibly can and then we'll try and undo it right so we heated it up very very, very hot and now as you can see that's still out of there it's coming undone so fair whack of eight we're going to have to do the same with the bottom one and it's off. So this one down here is the next one. You can see it's gone quite far down in the thread and then right at the bottom, even though it's been cleaned and sprayed, it's got stuck. So we're gonna have to do the same thing there as well. Get it super hot, same again. So same again with this one. Get it hot as possible. Hopefully melt the thread lock in the bottom that will rip out. And then uh, get the 24 mil on it. 
six mile key in the bottom and undo it. <laughs> then oh. both off. We heated that one till it was glowing and then it came off. So then we're both off now. The next step is to break these tapers, that one and that one down there. And what we do that with that with is um, Neptune's fork and some old armor. In there, smash, smash, smash. In there, smash, smash, smash. The top one's gone, I think. The top one's loose. It's the bottom one that's the problem. Yeah, I don't think it'll take much. No, we'll get um, the fork of Destiny. I think it's in the other thing. We're going to fetch the fork. The fork of Destiny. What we had to do with the fork was, it was about an inch longer than this. And we found that when we was knocking it in, it was bottoming out before it could move up the taper of the fork. So, cut the ends off here, grind them down, make it shorter. So I think we're only going to have to break the bottom one then, eh, mm -hmm. if a bit of luck. Remember, whatever you're holding could be hot. Yeah. So we'll give that a belt in, and we'll see what happens. Are we in, in there? Yeah, go. Boom! Remember to hold that when it... <laughs> yeah, remember to hold that so don't chop it tidy in half. Yeah. <laughs> and also bend up the... Um... This is the only one we've ever bought that I got rotten things on it. Are you? It ain't got rotten disc brake dust covers on it, but yeah. we, now it's got a big bent one with a flat bottom. <laughs> but yeah. that's that off anyway. So what we're going to do is put some new boots on these because there's nothing wrong with the ball joints. So we're going to pull all that off, we're going to put some new boots on there, and then we're going to put that back on. And it's going to be a mounted. We're going to do the other side as well, there's no point showing you that. Um, but that's how you get it off. I hope that helps you. Please like and subscribe, say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, like and subscribe, 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 and uh, we'll see you in the next video.